as a delaying action. All three alternatives included birth control, sterilization, forced if necessary, and the introduction of deadly microbes to control or slow the growth of the Earth's population. AIDS is only one result of these plans. There are others. Could a strange substance found by a Southwest Arkansas man be part of a government test? Well, that's the question at the heart of a phenomenon called chemtrails, now getting widespread attention. Well, tonight, KSLA News 12 investigation reporter Jeff Farrell shows us the results of testing we had done about what's in our skies. Uh, it seemed like some mornings it was just crisscrossing the whole sky. They were just, it was just like a giant checkerboard. Bill Nichols snapped several photos of the strange clouds from his home in Stamps, Arkansas. They begin as normal contrails from a jet engine, but do not fade away like a normal contrail. Soon after, he saw particles in the air. You know, because we'd see it dropped to the ground in a haze. Nichols then noticed the material collecting on the ground. This is uh, water and stuff that I collected in bowls. I had it set out in my backyard on my dad's pickup truck. KSLA News 12 had the sample tested at a lab. The results? A high level of barium, 6.8 parts per million, more than three times the toxic level set by the EPA. Armed with these lab results about the high levels of barium found in our sample, we decided to contact the Louisiana Department of Environmental Quality. They told us that yes, these levels are very unusual, but at the same time, they added the caveat that proving the source is a whole other matter. Barium is a hallmark of other chemtrail testing which even attracted attention from a Los Angeles TV station. There's already no shortage of unclassified weather modification programs by the government. But those who fear chemtrails could be secret biological or chemical testing on the public point to the 1977 Senate hearings in particular, which confirmed 239 populated areas had been contaminated with biological agents between 1949 and 1969. Later, the 1994 Rockefeller Report concluded hundreds of thousands of military personnel were also subjected to secret biological experiments over the last 60 years. But could secret testing be underway yet again? I'd rather it be something inert and benign, you know, something that's, you know, not causing any damage, but uh, I'd like to know what it is. KSLA News 12 discovered chemtrails are even mentioned by name in the initial draft of House Bill 2977, back in 2001 under the Space Preservation Act. But the military denies any such program exists. Jeff Farrell, KSLA News 12 reporting. And you know, it turns out until nine years ago, the government had the right under U.S. law to conduct secret testing on the American public under specific conditions. Only a public outcry repealed part of that law with some exceptions. Now, Jeff's report mentioned high levels of barium linked to those alleged chemtrails. We wanted to find out exactly what effects barium has on the body. Well, we spoke with Mark Ryan, the director of the Poison Control Center. Ryan tells KSLA News 12 that short-term exposure can lead to anything from stomach to chest pains. Long-term exposure causes blood pressure problems. Ryan addressed concerns by chemtrail researchers that barium could be meant to wear down a person's immune system. Anything that causes ill effects in the body long term chronically is going to affect your, your ability uh, because it's just it's constantly working on the body. So from that aspect, yeah, that's a potential. Why would the earth be better off if 90% of us were dead? I didn't say 90%, but there are too many of us on this earth. Okay. The 90% was somebody else's number. What, what percentage do you think would be good to reduce the human population by? We need to get down to sustainable levels. We passed those back in the 80s. You say, you, you describe uh, the people on this earth um, as useless. You describe this as a fat biomass. Um, I, don't know, I don't know if I actually said that or if those are words that were uh, attributed to me. Okay. But. You're quoted here, one of the most controversial uh, quotes from this address that you gave, it's been quoted in a lot of places, is about disease, and you're talking about the various naturally occurring diseases that could 
could thin the herd, basically. Um, you're talking about Ebola, and then he said, HIV is too slow. It's no good.